the wood order is in. Let's get busy. Con limbs and resin. Let's make it. We haven't started a new project now. It's going to be a uh, it's going to be a vase about uh, 10, 12 inches tall. It's going to be pecan limbs in black epoxy. There's all the limbs. It's you know, in the last year they they you know they fell off my pecan trees out there, and they were in a pile. So before I burned them, I went and gathered them up. And I'll be cutting those, uh, at least the ones I can use in the 10 inch lengths. Well, the way I started this, I took two of the larger uh, total boat containers, measuring containers, and I super glued them to super glued. That's not, I hot glued them together. And I mean, I really laid the hot glue to them, clamped them together, and then I hot glued them so they're not coming apart. And then I went out there and I, I, this is a piece of walnut. There's a something, I don't know what it is, I just found it in my junk pile. And it sort of fits pretty good for a plug, and then there's a piece of two by four. I did that just so I could have a place for my, my face plate. Uh, this has a dowel pin in it here that you know goes into both of them. And uh, it's got you know some CA glue to hold it together, and the same thing here. So this right there. It's perfectly into there, and what I'll do is I'll put the pecan limbs in there until I can't stuff no more in, and then we'll go mix up some black epoxy and uh, total bolt fix it. And we will let it sit for a couple days this time. All right, well, <clears throat> little change of plans as usual. Uh, I, I got this all done, got all my sticks in. I'm gonna go three to one to one, three to one. And this is a uh, total boat fixed it mahogany. <laughs> whoa, 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 Larry. Total boat fixed it epoxy. And I'm going to use this real dark mahogany black diamond powder. And I want them really dark. I wasn't going to do black, but I went over there to get the black and I saw that and I said, dang, that's going to be really good. So here we are. That's what we're going to do. Oh, heavy when they're fresh. Just open this one. Now we're on the very first scale. That would be easy to do. It's got a five there. The red one is your resin. You pour your resin up to that five, and then you top it off to the next five. As I'm going to leave this a couple of days. I want it to really work. So let's just do it. Uh, you know, where I can see good. So I've got this out now. It wasn't that too hard to get out. In fact, it came out a lot easier than I thought. And uh, this is for just a little now. It's not too bad. And of course, you know, that's off center a little bit. And I could center it, but it's made just for this face plate, and I do like using face plates. So I, th I think we're good to go there. Well, all we need to do is get these tightened up right here. Well, I'm going to uh, I'm going to start this thing. They passed my fingernail test this morning. I'm going to be turning pretty fast on this. I like to turn my epoxy fast. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to level this end up, and then I'm going to switch to a, a round cutter and start working this. And I'll be probably turning somewhere around 2,500, depending. I haven't spun it up fast yet to see how... Uh, you know, see how bad it rocks and rolls. Ooh, that's no good. That's just too much bounce there. So it looks like at about 1500 it starts to do its thing. So I'll keep it there until I get her down. I may get some chipping until I get her round. We'll see.
I got gremlins in here. Somebody forgot to tighten the damn tool rest up. Duh. That's why I kept saying, well, it's getting lower, lower, lower. What's going on? See, you want to be... I like to be just a hair above center. Like so. It's tight this time. <laughs> Starting to get some here. I'm gonna start using my big boy here now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in here, out to about here, and then back about to there. Okay? Okay. Starting to get some prettiness in here, aren't we? Still got a ways to go right there. I might just leave that though. This may be where they're pretty far in. I think I probably got enough right there. I'm gonna try something here. I don't know if it'll work or not. Let's just try it and see. Put a, put a quick burr on this negative brake scraper too. Sometimes uh, it'll kick it. There we go. go over this pretty quick you're less than your tool marks doesn't appear like they work <laughs> oh yeah that helped a lot still got a few but it helped a lot I'll get him out with sandpaper. Get that power sander after it, he'll come out. All right, let's work on this end for a little while. I'll have the right height on this thing. Perfect old. That's my wall mat right there, so I'm going to basically do the same thing here, come up to that point. And then uh, I guess we've got to figure out how to square the bottom off and put a Either a tenon or a recess. I'm prone to go with a tenon and a wall. Now, wall not bad about splitting. Ow, what's going on there? See what's going on? That's uh, something popping me like a big dog. Look at that shit chip. What are you doing there, boy? Oh, wow. Hey, got a little interruption here. I don't know. I don't know what all this chipping crap is going on about right here. Grandson just popped in and delivered my new hat that my uh, daughter got for me. A summer hat. It's mesh. See, it's solid. It's, it's hot, so everything helps. 
So put this one on backwards too. Looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here with a little lighter touch and try to come this way a little bit so I can't get those chips out. That's, shouldn't done that. Don't do that no more. Boy. Yeah, I'm good. I'll be all right. I can tell it's doing it because it's not long. You know what, I think I, I think I was pressing too hard. Still got to come down here and get that. I think I'm going to go a little deeper right in this area. Here it is. Can I put some cedar on it and go to lunch? All right, I'm going to put some cedar on it now, one of several coats. Why are you not staying up there? There you go. Men wax sanding cedar, water based, as usual. I'm at almost the end of gallon number four. That tells you how to use it a little bit, doesn't it? There we go. And mainly for the wood because, you know, it was dry wood, so it's going to soak it up. It's going to take several coats. And as usual, I probably shouldn't be doing the outside now, but I am. I like to see what the results are going to be. So it gives you a chance to say, well, maybe I need to change something before I do the rest of it. I right. yeah, get it. Time for me and Brandy to go have lunch. Okay, well, I always say I don't like to finish the outside before I do the inside, but I always do. I end up having to do some of it over. You know, that's okay. I just, I get a thrill out of seeing what it's going to look like. Well, this, uh, I don't like recesses, and here's a good reason why. Now, walnut is notorious about splitting, especially when it's dry like this, but I had, I put the recess on, I flipped it around, and I was going to cut this excess off with a parting tool, and I even had my steady rest on it, and here's what happened, see that goes right there like that, now I could glue it back, but I'd still have to have a recess in there, and it wouldn't be as strong, so my plan, is a, maybe a little unusual, I don't know, but what I'm going to do, so I'm going to come in here and square this bottom off. Right in here with this tool. And uh, then I'm going to, I'm going to put a face plate on this end. I'm going to put that on it right there. Now the plan, you know, I have holes there, I realize that. Now I may put little little rubber uh, things for it to stand on if I got enough of them. If not, I maybe I'll just glue some red velvet on the bottom. So it'll be pretty when I'm done. It, uh, it scarred this up a little bit, but I, I was, and after I inspected it a little bit, I can see sort of like little brush marks in it, and I was wanting to get them out anyway. So I'm, you know, and I'm gonna bring this up to about right there. And then we will, we're gonna try it again. Maybe not today, not today.
I think I'm done for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Well, it's the next day. So, what have I done? Well, I put the faceplate on the bottom end. I'm going to put like red velvet to cover those holes up. No big deal. And uh, I've got it back on here. My wife came out here and I consulted her, or she consulted me. <laughs> I'm not real sure. But anyway, she thinks it needs to be deeper here than here to uh, be more prominent. So uh, it's developed a wobble anyway. So I don't understand how I did that. You know, you wouldn't think this stuff would move, but see it? So I'm going to get the wobble out. Listen to that. That's 1800. I'm going to start right there. We'll get that out in a minute here. I do is get this, these tool marks out. So let's just see what happens here. It's going to be very fast. This is a uh, body file. Very good. I'm going to do a little more traditional sanding this time. Alright guys, I need some help here because I don't... I got something that's sort of baffling me. I mean, I think I know, but I don't know why. Yeah, I had this perfectly round an hour ago before I went and had some lunch. And I came back out. I, well, I, I put a coat of sealer on it, went and had lunch, come back, and look how it wobbles. That was perfectly round an hour ago. Perfectly square. On a face plate, I didn't take it off, and at the time it still had the live center on it. So now it's wobbling. And it's all dry wood. There was no nothing wet. So all I can think is that the epoxy in there, the deep pour, it's still doing some, still doing its thing, even though it's been like three days. And I can't think of nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and get this hole drilled. You've seen it done a hundred times. I'm going to be drilling it all the way up to that gear and come back with a bigger one. And uh, then we'll come back and we'll start on the inside. I'm debating where to put the. Uh, Steady rest on right. I probably will. We'll see. So I see you in a little while. All right, I've got the hole drilled and uh, I've got my steady rest on. So I'm ready to start hollowing. So let's do it. I'm turning it the ground here. This is 320, I'm going to hit the outside, and steel wood. 
and then I'm going to start sealing the inside and outside again. I like to sand fast. Everybody knows that. Look at here. This looks pretty dang good, except it's got a few little fine brush marks in it, and I want to get them out before I hit it with the axe paste. So I've got ox steel wool here, and I've got four ox steel wool here. So I'm going to hit it with this, inspect it real good, and then come back with this, and then we'll go with the axe paste, unless I decide to use a scotch pad. We'll see. So. Looks like it may have developed a little wobble overnight, but that's normal. I guess, no matter what it is, it's normal. I'm trying to stay away from the edges here because I don't want to totally, you know, like wear it out. But what I'm trying to do, and I'll have to take a gander at it here. I never stop things with my hands. It's just a just a good habit to get into. See, I'm trying to come in here to make sure that I've got these little brush marks. Still a few right in this area. Those look good. And right in here, so I've got to concentrate more here and here. Because I don't want to go through this, you know. So, okay, let's do, some, do a little more. I really like to put my hand inside in here. All right. That's the aught. Zero. Zip, zip, zero. This is a four aught. Fine stuff. Oh yeah, that looks good. I still see a few here, but they're... I almost can't see them. I'm afraid if I do much more, it'll get down below this and then I'll have to do it again. So this is the uh, four aught. I can tell by the way it drags, see? And see, it's starting to get its own little shine. So it's picking it up because you can see that. All right, let's take a gander at this one. All right, you look real close. I ain't going to be looking real close. I think that's fair. Isn't that nice already? This, my friends, is the best paste in the West. It is Axe Paste, made in the USA and Pennsylvania. Good stuff. Uh, you, get, uh, you can go to their site and put Wood Water 10 to get 10% off their price. And I believe the price is $28. And you get that and the polish. And that right there will last a long time. So I always use a fine scotch pad to put it on with. I'm not so sure if it's really necessary, but I seem to get pretty good results by doing it this way. Sort of like, you know, don't fix something that ain't broke, right? I always do, I always use this to do a little bit of polishing with it. This pad itself is pretty worn out, so it's not going to be much abrasive. That's the way I want it. Let's turn it slow first to make sure we get it good and smeared. Now, I'm of the school that you got to turn pretty fast to really get any results. But uh, this, you can you can hear it sanding. Hear that? That's doing some minute fine sanding. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and whirl it up. Sometimes I go halfway. This is already pretty shiny, so. Foxy, you can't get a foxy real hot. Now we're in the polishing mode. High shine. My goodness. Now all the uh, all the brush marks. Barely see one if I hold it right at the right angle. All the little brush marks are gone now. Wow! 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 Look at there. Isn't it nice? So you got a little fingerprint there. Of course, this is not the polish. I was referring to the polish. So let's put some polish on it now. This is just putting the final touch on it.
It don't take very long. All right, they don't get. There you are, my friends. And you can still see a couple little brush marks here. But I can only see them. Other people won't see them. So let's get it off of here and uh, work on the bottom a little bit. Probably going to go to the laser. All right, here's how I handled the bottom. Made myself a new logo, and it's uh, royalty free. So, you know, so it's no copyright thing. I got it off the internet. It's a little beaver. And it says the woodworder and got my little beaver and says July 2020 now for the holes for the faceplate. I took the cut out. Actually, I punched out little round things of uh, red velvet. And I put it just a touch of medium CA and put them on all over all the holes. So that's how we handle the bottom. So we're getting ready to wrap this thing up. Let me get set up and we'll do that. All right, fellas, there it is. It's all done and shiny and stuff like that. Uh, I think it's really pretty. I really like the way this resin did in here with that. Uh, it was actually mahogany. Was I think it's got like gold, gold pearl in it or something. But here's the. Uh, I just showed you the bottom. But I'm going to show you again. So that turned out really nice. So down here, I can see what I'm doing here. See there, there you go. I like that. I like that. Maybe my my alternate logo. It reflects a beaver, you know. And you know what a beaver is, right? So there you go. That wasn't it. wasn't really that hard of a project. It uh, sort of threw me a little bit of a loop getting wobbling after it set up overnight, you know. And I still don't quite understand that, but it did. But anyway, I overcame it my way. So there you are. I hope you enjoyed the video. I, well, here's something neat inside. You remember my uh, my plug was, was square, rectangular? Now let's see if you, I don't know if you can see inside here or not, but I'm gonna try to show you. Hold on, here we go. Here's this. There you go. Now. Uh oh. See the diamond? Sort of like a uh, diamond. In the bottom, that turned out really neat. I sort of like that idea. I may use that a, some more sometime. Pretty neat. You just have to use a decent wood. All right, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And tell your friends. Just tell them they want to see a... Just an old guy doing his thing with absolutely no music, no interruptions, as much as possible. Finally got my fan under control, so we're in good shape. So we'll catch you on the rebound and call your mama. She definitely wants to hear from you this time. I mean, it's pretty lonely when we have to stay home all the time and no visitors or nothing, so bear that in mind. Take care. The wood burner has left the building. <laughs>